Start recording. Now, if you look at the propagation bioreactor, you'll see that on the surface there are very few larvae crawling around. This is normal. Larvae are photophobic and they'll burrow down underneath. What you want to do when you're getting ready to reload the propagation bioreactor is to stir the waste that's already in the propagation bioreactor. You need to turn it over. This is the food scrap waste and so on that's been in the bin prior to the addition of fresh waste. As you can see by aerating this waste, turning it over in this instance with a sod fork out of a PBR, so-called propagation bioreactor, what you're doing is you're aerating the waste and by that process giving the larvae the opportunity to respire as they need to do and exchanging carbon dioxide and so on as a byproduct out of the waste. So this needs to be done on a regular basis. If you don't stir the waste in this fashion uh, you're not going to get nearly the yield of larvae produced out of a propagation bioreactor because most of that waste below the surface is going to become anaerobic and in the process the larvae will suffocate and die off so that's what the process is make sure that you get it well stirred and turned over you can be quite vigorous about it uh, they'll perfectly tolerate all this turning and churning around. Once that waste is turned over like that, you can then add the fresh waste to the surface of the remaining waste now that it's been stirred. And that fresh waste will, the odors from the fresh waste will attract the mating females. They'll come down and lay eggs then around the edges and walls of the perimeter of the PBR and hence you can really amplify your propagation.